Molly McCullum joins us live. Molly, lots of trees and power lines down today. Absolutely, Jennifer. And I want to start off by saying a big thank you to the crews that are cleaning up this mess today and working really hard to restore power. They have been out here for hours and they are working hard and they are working really fast. Just alone in this Peachtree Hills neighborhood, there's about 750 people without power. And it's tough because we're all relying on electricity right now more than ever to work from home. And the sound of chainsaws has been filling the eerily quiet streets of the Atlanta metro today as crews work hard to clean up the big mess that all of these storms left behind. In a matter of minutes, powerful straight line winds brought down trees on cars, homes and power lines in Metro Atlanta. Thankfully, no injuries have been reported despite the widespread damage. Noonan in Coweta County saw the worst of the damage as winds roared to 70 miles per hour. 911 in Coweta County took over 200 calls in response to today's storms. Emergency officials had to pivot from coronavirus to clean up from storm debris. Super saturated soil from our wet winter and spring is causing large trees to topple just like toothpicks as trees start to leaf out with the warmer weather and makes them top heavy and allows them to catch even more wind from these powerful storms. Today is a reminder that we are in the heart of severe weather season here in Georgia, so it makes every warning, every forecast even more important. But with all of the extra stress that we have in our community right now, storms and storm damage like this is even harder to manage. In Peachtree Hills, Molly McCullum, CBS 46 News. Molly, thank you. You can get pinpoint weather and traffic with our CBS 46 streaming app. It's important for you to have it right now.